right angle trig. The word trigonometry means triangle measure. And today we're going to focus on right angle triangles. There are six trigonometric ratios that define six different trigonometric functions. You may be familiar with these from previous math classes. So if we have a right angle triangle with a given angle, and we're going to identify that angle as theta, we're going to label the sides based on the angle. So if the angle is in the bottom left corner here, this is our opposite side, this is our adjacent side, and the hypotenuse is always opposite of the right angle. The six trig functions, we have sine theta. Sine is a ratio of the opposite over the hypotenuse. So the length of the opposite side of the triangle over the length of the hypotenuse. Cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse, and tangent is opposite over adjacent. These are probably the three trig functions that you're most familiar with. Now above, it says that there are six. And that's because each one of these have a, has a reciprocal function. We have cosecant. And these are their short forms, which is the hypotenuse over the opposite. We have secant, which is the hypotenuse over the adjacent. And then we have cotangent, which is adjacent over hypotenuse. So what you'll notice is that these are the reciprocal of each other. So sine and cosecant are reciprocals of each other. Cosine and secant are reciprocals of each other and tangent and cotangent are reciprocals of each other. So I just wrote in blue the long form of all the reciprocal functions, just so you know exactly how to pronounce the abbreviated form. So cosecant, secant, and cotangent are called reciprocal functions. So not only are the opposite over hypotenuse the reciprocal of each other, but the actual function itself is a reciprocal. So cosecant is one over sine. Secant is one over cosine. And cotangent is one over tan. Now if this is true, then it's also true that sine is 1 over cosecant, cosine is 1 over secant, and tan is 1 over cotangent. So here's an example of a question that you may get. Find all six trigonometric functions given that sine theta is 20 over 29. So if sine theta is 20 over 29, what I'm really being told is that the opposite of theta is the length of 20, and the hypotenuse is the length of 29. So I draw my right angle triangle, I put theta in, so the opposite is gonna be 20, and the hypotenuse is going to be 29. I'm going to use my knowledge of the Pythagorean theorem to find the length of the adjacent side. So x squared plus 20 squared is equal to 29 squared. 
So each side length squared, if we add those together, is equal to the length of the hypotenuse squared. So we get x squared is equal to 441. So x is equal to 21. Now the question is saying find all six trigonometric functions. We already are given sine. So that means that we actually have the reciprocal one before doing any of that math. It's going to be 29 over 20. We're just taking the reciprocal of what was given to us. We have cosine, which is adjacent over hypotenuse. So if I look at the question, the adjacent is 21, the hypotenuse is 29. Now that I know cosecant, I can also do secant because it's the reciprocal. And the last one, tangent, is opposite over adjacent. So we have opposite is 20, oops, 20, adjacent is 21. So then we also have cotangent, which is the reciprocal, which is 21 over 20. And now we have all six. One, two, three, four, five, and six.